Hi everyone, David Maley here, and today we're going to do something really cool. I'm going to show you how to look at and visualize and then determine which is better for the uh, perplexing situation of which is better, a million dollars in your hand or a penny doubled every day for 30 days. So, you know, you might have heard this problem, you may not have, but in any case, this shows you beyond the shadow of a doubt which one would be the better pick. So, what we did here was I created the data first originally in Excel. Let me pull it up. And so basically all I've got here is the days one through 30. I've got the penny doubled by day. And then I've got the lump sum. You know, the lump sum stays at a million dollars. You get it paid off immediately and it just goes down at a million dollars. So now if we go back to the RBI chart, I brought this data in and you can see here I have amount, day, and lump sum. And in here, we created a nice dashboard that shows, you know, the lump sum amounts a million dollars right here. And uh, the average daily amounts $357,000 if you look at this. But look what happens here when you look at this graph. It looks like you've got almost nothing. You got at 10 days, you have $5.12 right there. But the other person got a million dollars. Well, let's see what happens. How about on day 20? Well, you've got more. You got five thousand two hundred and forty dollars and eighty-eight cents. That's nowhere near a million dollars. But what happens as the exponential power goes up? Look what happens on day twenty-five. You have one hundred sixty-seven thousand seven hundred seventy-two dollars and sixteen cents. You're still not at that daily average. I tell you, it's really skewed down here towards the end. So you go to day thirty, five million three hundred sixty-eight thousand seven hundred nine dollars and twelve cents, and you can see that right here. So clearly, which is better, this one, and it shows you. So I've got a line chart here that compares the two. And if I were to bring this out, I'll show you how I did it. All I did here was day versus amount and lump sum, right? That's why I had those two columns in there. I actually have three. I have day number, one through 30. The amount and the lump sum stays the same. I showed it in the Excel chart. So when you look at here, I've got the date or the uh, data in here, and you can see same data you saw in the Excel chart, but what I did was I did a conditional filter. So when it gets to above a million dollars, it goes green. So in the last three days, see up until then, you're, lo you're losing compared to this, so even $670,000 on day 27. But when you get to day 28, you've got a mil 1.3 million, day 29, 2.6 million, and day 30, $5.37 million. So by taking the penny doubled every day, you make $4.37 million more than you do if you had the lump sum amount in 30 days. And you can see here the difference compared to the pie chart. It's very simple to do all these different features that I uh, added here. All I've got is a chart. You can see right here, it's a table actually, but it's a chart and a table. I've got a line graph. You can see right here, I've got um, four of these cards, which is one, two, three, four and the pie chart. And it shows you beyond a shadow of a doubt the power of exponential growth. See that? It looks like nothing. And then, bang. Yes. The conundrum behind this uh, problem of which is better, the million dollars in a lump sum or the penny every day for 30 days. Hope you found this interesting informational. It's pretty cool stuff that you can go and show people in Power BI. This is a really cool tool because you can do all kinds of stuff and show all kinds of neat stuff with dashboards and visualizations. And it's very important for you to be able to do that for data analysis and data science. Data science, you might do some more with the data behind the scenes, getting it together, figuring out with algorithms and stuff. But in the end, it ends up being a data set or two or a table and or a couple of tables and you bring it in you want to visualize it there isn't much out there it's going to be quicker in power bi to show it i'm going to tell you that right now and look at this how quick and easy it was to build this literally took me probably i don't know 20 minutes to make this and or put this together thanks again for watching i hope you found this interesting and informational please take a moment to subscribe like and share and have a great day thanks